The T-29 super heavy tank was planned to assist in the final push at the Nazi capital of Berlin. It was a traditional tank which means it had a hole and it had a turret. Now the hole was based off of the Pershing chassis. The T-29, like I said, was part of the American Super Heavy program. This Super Heavy program consisted of three tanks. The T-28 Super Heavy, or T-95, the T-30, and this T-29. The T-29 was going to have the smallest gun in the program, with only a 105mm weapon. The armor varied from 70mm on the frontal hull to 279mm on the turret. The tank weighed in at about 70 short tons and was powered by a 650 horsepower engine. The T-29 was really never needed. The Soviets managed to push through to Berlin and there was no need for this tank in Japan as that war was wrapping up rather quickly. Interest in the super heavy program fell and the T-29 just fell into history. Out of the six prototypes that were made, only two survived to this day. Now the T-29 wasn't a complete failure. It kind of was needed because the information collected eventually led to the creation of the American Heavy M103. Thank you for watching this quick tank history. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and to see these tanks in action in the popular MMO game World of Tanks. See you later.